Who's hungry? The deli's open. Hey guys, Marco D'Angelo here. Thanks for stopping by for another week of Sandwich Shop Games. We're going to take a look at some key situations this week in college football. See if we can get you on some right sides or maybe keep you off a wrong side. Remember, if I give you a winner, you make one unit. If I save you from betting a loser, I save you 1.1 units. So let's get into this week's Sandwich Shop Games. And we're going to start it off early this week. We've got a Friday night game with a unique situation. You've got Boston College playing host to Louisville. Louisville's coming off a tough spot. Last week, they were at home against Miami of Florida. That was a game that went back and forth, high-scoring game, and Louisville come out on the short end of a 52-45 barn burner. Tough to pick yourself back up off the mat from a game like that. Well, make matters worse, you're traveling on a short week to Boston College, and guess who you got on deck next week? You're coming off undefeated Miami of Florida, and you're playing Red Hot Clemson up next, two of the biggest names in the ACC. Yeah, bad sandwich spot for Louisville. Got to look at Boston College, plus the points here. Uh, they're getting seven and a half from Louisville. Also, let's take a look on Saturday. Virginia Tech at home versus Georgia Tech. Virginia Tech laying 10. Now, the knee-jerk reaction there would be to grab Georgia Tech plus the points, but this is a tough spot for Georgia Tech. Last week, they played host to Notre Dame. That game was not at their home field, but instead was at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. Big game for Georgia Tech. Um, they did lose that game, but coming off playing Notre Dame, you got to expect them to be a little flat off of that game last week. And you go from that game to playing a Virginia Tech team, and Virginia Tech team is a team that is going to run the football down your throat. You're going to have to stop that punishing ground game and not what you want to do. And then look at next week who they play. Uh, they've got coming up on deck. Now, note, this game actually isn't next week, but it's their next game on the schedule. Georgia Tech plays Miami of Florida. Talk about a sandwich. You got Notre Dame on one side of it, and you got undefeated Miami on the other. It's a tough spot for Virginia Tech. And when you look at Virginia Tech laying 10, you say, yeah, but do they score enough points? They Don't they like to run the football? When you've got a team that runs the football as well as Virginia Tech does, when they're in the fourth quarter and they're trying to kill clock with a lead, they're doing what they do best, running the football. So they can add to the score. It's not like having a passing team trying to take the uh, air out of the ball and kill clock. They don't run the ball well. Virginia Tech does, and they can add to that score. Looks like Virginia Tech is the side in this one, laying the 10 points there. Also, let's take a look at SMU at Duke. Here is another uh, sandwich spot. Duke, as they are coming off a Friday night game last week. Uh, we've told you many times, these teams that get to play these standalone games are only one or two games on the schedule on a weeknight, and it's on TV. Those are big deals for those schools. Now you throw in the fact that it was Florida State uh, that they beat at home. Now, granted, Florida State's having an off year, but as far as the name goes and, you know, royalty of the ACC in football, Florida State is still a big name, and that's a big win for Duke. Uh, so they're coming off of that and now got to play SMU, another big game. And this is just a spot where I'm looking at them off the win against Florida State and now playing uh, SMU, a team they're not familiar with, SMU just moving over into the ACC this year. And look at who they got on deck. They do play next week, and they play undefeated Miami. Yeah, I think they might get caught looking ahead. And if you are not prepared for this SMU offense, you're going to get steamrolled. SMU, last four games, this offense is for real. 
They have scored 182 points in the last four games. Yeah, I got to take a hard look at SMU. They're laying 11 and a half on the road for a reason. Even though both teams come in here at six and one, one is a counterfeit six and one, hasn't really played anybody. And the other one, SMU, has played some good teams and has rolled on everybody. Look at SMU in this one. Before we get to the next sandwich situation, I want to tell you, if you made it to this point of the video, thank you. Appreciate you guys watching. And if you like what you see with these videos, do me a favor. Give me a thumbs up. Now hit the like button. It really helps out the channel. If you want to make sure you don't miss any of these videos, it's free. Hit the subscribe button. You'll be notified every time there is a new video available. And uh, drop me a comment, guys. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you like about the videos, what you don't like, what you'd like to see. Uh, I always go in and check the comment section on YouTube. I uh, like to interact with you guys, and I always appreciate Appreciate you guys taking the time to watch these videos. And if you like the way I handicap games and you want a special offer, we've got it this week at Wager Talk. You can pick up a 30 day subscription, normally $299. You can pick it up for $249. Why is this such a great deal? Well, one, you're saving $50 right off the bat. Two, it comes out to just $8 a day. And three, this is the best time of the year for sports betting. Every sport will be going during this 30-day period. You got the World Series starting on Friday. You're in the heart of college and pro football. Hockey's underway. NBA started this week. College basketball starts in two weeks. You'll get every play I release in every sport for 30 days, $249. And that includes those 5% plays that sell for $35 each. We're 13-3 and three the last 16 and I've got another one going this weekend, and we're 5-1 and one with them this football season, so be sure to check that out. All right, let's get to the last sandwich spot, and it's a night game. It's Penn State. They got to travel to Wisconsin this week. Now, we know Penn State, undefeated, um, top five team in the country. They've played well. Uh, they had last week off, but the week before that, they went to the West Coast. They played in the Rose Bowl, Rose, Rose Bowl rematch against USC. And they came from behind and got the victory. Now they got to play a second road game. But my concern for them is not this week. It's next week. They've got Ohio State up next. In Ohio State, uh, Penn State, that is going to be for all of the marbles basically in the Big Ten and Penn State really is in line if they can pull that win off next week over Ohio State, which has been an absolute nemesis for them, them and Michigan in the Big Ten. Penn State could be looking to be in line to play for the national championship uh, because the rest of the schedule is pretty soft in the Big Ten for Penn State. So I think they get caught looking ahead, and this Wisconsin team's playing well. You know what you're going to get with Wisconsin. They're going to run the ball down your throat, and if I'm Penn State, my goal is just to get in and get out of this game, uh, get the victory, but you know, not show anything to Ohio State for next week. If you got any special plays that you worked on uh, last week with that extra week off, you're saving that for next week against Ohio State. I think they escape with the victory, but I think this one goes down to the end to a field goal. I'm going to look at taking the points with Wisconsin. Uh, the only way to play it is take – Wisconsin plus the points or pass it again this would be one of those ones that maybe I don't give you a winner but maybe I take you off a loser uh, if you're thinking about Penn State uh, and that is it for this week's sandwich shop guys again thanks for stopping by hanging out with me for a few minutes here as we get ready for a weekend of action uh, best of luck to you with all of your wagers uh, and until next week I'll see you at the deli we'll keep it open for you Good luck this week.